All right, so it's time to make sure that we get some berries out of this. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here today. It's actually the first weekend in May 2019. So we've done a video on this before. This is our Primark Blackberry. We love this Blackberry. By far the most productive Blackberry bush. We got several varieties, but by far the most productive variety that we have here, for us at least, in Arizona. So I'm gonna link the first video we did on this. We actually did a harvest on this video or on this tree last year. So you can take a peek and see what these look like. Last year, this bush just did amazing. I think we got almost three one gallon Ziploc bags full of blackberries. My oh my, was it a productive bush. So we're not gonna talk too much about the variety today. What we really wanna talk about is how we're gonna keep the birds from devouring our harvest. <laughs> Cause we've already got some things ripening up. So if Lori wants to squeeze in just a little bit, so you can see how we're doing so far. Fruit set has been fantastic. So we got fruit all over in here. You can see they're starting to turn pink, which means we're ready to start getting some ripe fruit. In fact, looking back even further, you can see we had a ripe blackberry there, which has already been eaten by some type of bird. So what we really need to do is we really need to make sure that the rest of the harvest that we're just starting to see setting on here, and what we'll probably be harvesting from this week, uh, we get it and not the birds. So let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna be using for that. Okay, so these are the tools that we use on several different things here on the farm to keep birds from getting to our harvest. So we're gonna be using bird netting today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link to our Amazon shop down in the description below. Um, all the things that you see here are available in that shop. Uh, so if you wanna take a peek at that, you can. But we have bird netting here. Um, so what we do is we reuse the bird netting from year to year. So all I really do is just take a piece of three quarter inch PVC. I cut it down to, I don't know, this is about three feet then what we can do is we can roll the netting up at the end of the season and then at the end I just write down the size so use a black sharpie do put down the size and I put down what we actually use it for so this one's seven foot by 17 feet um, and of course I put, put berry on there because it's for our berry beds so we have that rolled up from last year next thing will be clothes pins I got two different types of clothes pins in here I have just your basic wooden clothes pins and some plastic some larger plastic clothes pins so we'll be using those for pinning the netting together and then I have my set of pruners here so these are my corona pruners I'm gonna use these just in case as we're going around I need to snip anything off to make sure it all fits inside the bird netting uh, I'm gonna use this then the actual bush itself so what you can see here on the bush is that we have some EMT piping that we put around the bed itself so we created a bed here which I think is about four foot by five foot um, out of just um, just basic cinder block and then we took some EMT EMT piping, put EMT piping up here so we had a structure that actually could keep the net up off of the bush itself. So let's have Lori and I go ahead and put this netting up. Okay, so that was it. So that took Lori and I about five minutes total time to go ahead and get this thing covered and protect it from birds so we can guarantee a good harvest this year. So a couple things that you saw us do that I wasn't explaining in the beginning. So first things first, let's talk about the big binder clips. So the reason why we have the bigger plastic binding binder clips is we had some branches, as you saw us um, kind of in the beginning, we were lifting up some branches up off the ground. I had one branch I needed to actually clip to the top of the post. So we, there was a couple things we needed to clip together. We even clipped branches together just to kind of keep them more vertical up off the ground and of course into this little structure that we've created didn't need to go through and do any pruning although I may come back and prune the tips off of this new strong growth that we're getting for next year's fruit set uh, but we did that first next thing you saw us do was go through and take two pieces so one piece was seven foot by 17 feet the other was seven by 17 
The reason, of course, that they're seven by 17 <laughs> is because the rolls that we buy from Amazon are 14 feet wide. So just measure that off, cut it in half, and we're able to use that for, for this. Uh, we did it snug at the bottom and at the top um, to keep birds from getting in here and to keep most of the creepy crawlers from getting underneath. So we've got a couple of uh, birds. Are, we've got a curved bill thrasher that uh, loves to dig around in the wood chips to find bugs and will eat fruit as well. We want to make sure we're keeping him from getting underneath and getting up into uh, our protected blackberry. We'll probably come back through here, add a couple more clips to the top here just to make sure that's nice and snug. We don't want any small birds getting caught in this because we love having birds here. They're a very important part of the ecosystem here on the farm. We just want to keep the harvest for ourselves. So just want to thank you for joining us today. You know, if you haven't done so already, hey, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here. Obviously, we're talking about fruit trees now, but farming, fruit trees, you name it, we cover it. Instagram and Facebook, we're there. Check us out there to see content that we post there you won't see here on the YouTube channel. Questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget our Amazon page. A free and easy way to help support the channel here is shopping through that link down below. We've also linked, and you'll see in our shop, all the things we used here today. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you.